Hey guys, my name is Nori and welcome back to my channel. So, today we are going to be talking about our Kindle Romance Reads. Now, every time I do a wrap up, I always tell you guys that I'm going to talk about my romance separately, my mangas and my graphic novels, comics, everything will be like separate. So whoever likes romance and doesn't like fantasy or only people who like romance can get in on this action. So today I'm going to be talking about romances on Kindle. Now some of these may be on Kindle Unlimited or I just bought them straight from Amazon. And no, I am not sponsored by anybody. It would be nice. But no, it's just me reviewing some books. So the way that I'm going to be describing these is going to be through a thermometer. Now the thermometer is I believe blue, green, yellow, orange, and red. Now the bottom I'm going to put sweet and then the top I'm going to put spicy. Now sometimes in a Kindle romances you would think that everything is like smut but it's really not. And um, I read a couple, I think I read one that was like super sweet it was more towards like just the relationship and there was like barely no smut and then I read my first BDSM and we're gonna talk about all those but the way that I'm gonna be rating them is gonna be through the thermometer and just talking about the plot and I will not be giving star ratings for any of these books sometimes on Goodreads or on any other platform I will do star ratings but my star ratings are totally different from yours like I know people who even give out two stars that they say that it's a good thing so star ratings are up to interpretation so I'd rather just stay away from that and tell you how smutty it is and just the plot and the characters and what I liked. So without further ado we are going to start the video. Alright so the first book that we are going to be talking about is Whipped by Jenica Snow and I'm going to put all the pictures up here and um I really like this. Now, if you could not tell by this beautiful cover, this is a plus size female romance, which we love because plus size females are beautiful. They deserve to be loved to the extreme. And they get, you know, they get a little something, something too. So I absolutely love reading about plus size romance, being a plus size woman herself. Your girl loves to read it. So this follows Zara and Zara is uh, with this big company and is in task to do a fundraiser and for that fundraiser she needs to pick out the foods and the desserts and the snack and that was a whole ordeal because she snapped she'll be like why because I'm the fat one in the room I gotta do that and they're like oh wait no so that was a really great scene and she goes to this bakery now she's been going to this bakery for weeks and she just sits there orders her little snacks and just reads a book but there's a little meaning behind that because she thinks that the guy in charge or the head baker is super cute and she's had a crush on him for uh, the longest time well we find out that the tables have turned because the main baker likes her too. And they're both super nervous and they've never even tried to interact with each other. And then one day when she decides to put out her order, you know, sparks fly and um, things get heated, y'all. I really enjoyed this book. I would say that this is more towards like on the orange side because there's this particular scene in a kitchen and <laughs> it was that scene right there breaks the thermometer easily but everything else I think I would leave it towards the orange maybe yellow and orange like between that line but the smut was great I love that scene. I'm never going to forget that scene. And again, a plus size female main character. And obviously we're going to have those tropes. Now, obviously we're not here to get a lot of substance from these books. We're just here for the good time. And I had a good time. So if you do want to pick this book up, I will link 
all of the Kindle books down below. I don't get no profit. I just want y'all to have a good time too. So I'll have all the titles and then all the links for them as well. Next book that we have here, it is Theirs for the Night by Katie Robert. Now, I read, initially, this was part of the Smutathon. I believe it was like the weekend edition or it was like a couple of days. And I was like, you know what? Let's do it because I was already in the mood for like a palette cleanser. I usually use these for a palette cleanser between like my fantasy, sci-fis, or like just heavy or like heavy graphic novels, comic books, and all that stuff. So I love using these as like palette cleansers. So during the mini Smutathon, during the Smutathon, this was actually the group pick and I didn't read nothing about it. I was just like, you know what? Everybody's reading it. Let's just jump right in. I didn't read the description. I didn't read nothing. And oh boy, this was a ride. Okay, so this follows Meg. And Meg is a college student and she is struggling because we've all been there. College is expensive as heck. So she's always working. I believe she's a bartender and she's always busting her behind. And I believe her tuition finally cut off. So it she's practically towards the end of her education and now she has no way of finishing it without actually working and she's like 21 or 22 and at that age you know you should be partying with your friends and she's just stressing out so for her birthday her best friend was like you know what old lady we are going out to the club we're having a good time and she was like yo i'm so tired i don't want to go and she, the best friend's like shut up we're going which best friend energy love it so they go out to this club and she catches these two guys i like her attention just zooms in on them and them on her and we are talking about theo and galen and uh, she just starts dancing have a good time and both of them just show up again and they start dancing together and uh they're like well you know you should go home with us and she's like us too i was like girl so continuing on she goes home with them and has a night and i have never read anything that does not involve two people and two people steamy but three when i tell you the thermometer and the scenes broke the thermometer like it is way up there in the red i would say it's just again it broke the scenes i just i cannot believe that this author is so skilled at not writing just two people involved but three and it was super steamy and turns out you know it's part of the description that um galen and theo it's a prince and bodyguard relationship and um you know they're running away from something and this was like a prequel it's not even the first book i think it's like a 0 0.5 and when i went to the end of the book and i'm just like this is a series <laughs> i bought book one immediately <laughs> because this is so good so again this broke the thermometer and i highly suggest that you pick this up because it was hot y'all it was hot Next book that we're going to be talking about, it is Grading Curves by Naima Simone. And um, I had a great time with this. So I want to say this is still classified as an age gap romance. I don't think the gap is like super stretch. Like it's not that uncomfortable, but there is somewhat of a gap. I think it's like maybe seven years in between. Again, to me, that's not bad. But to you, everybody's consensual. Everybody is an adult here. So at least there's that the story starts with nikki and nikki you know she's experienced a lot in her life and um she's going through a hard time right now so logically the only way to get out of that tough situation is to get a tattoo do y'all have tattoos like do you do you feel me in this situation because that makes sense that makes so much sense to me but continuing on so she wants to get a tattoo she's never gotten a tattoo before and she is nervous so she goes into this tattoo parlor 
and she chickens out at the last minute and then she comes back again she's nervous so everybody was like oh hey you know we're closing for the night and she was like oh <laughs> too bad and this guy comes on and says you know it's fine I'll take her and this guy turns out to be Dean and Dean is a very popular tattoo artist in town like he is booked for months and he's like you know what I'll just take her she sits down to get a tattoo and he's like well what is a woman like you getting a tattoo and they start talking and um one thing leads to another and uh, something steamy happens in the tattooed chair but somebody walks in and Nikki gets scared and she's like oh my god gets scared and then she leaves so uh, what we find out about Nikki is that she's actually new in town and she is a professor in a college and uh, this is her first day of teaching and when she is doing her roll call she calls out Dean's name and she makes eye contact and the story begins oh my god I had such a great time y'all as you can see I'm really excited to talk about this I don't know what it was about these characters but sometimes in a smutty romance as we would call it most of the time the character development and their past doesn't really play a big part and you're just here for the smut but this one had quite a bit of character development for me and not only that but the smutty scenes y'all this was in the red zone this was um this was good smut there is again I can't talk about it but <laughs> I hope that you guys picked this up because there's this one scene where I'm just like so yeah if you want to pick this up go ahead because again it's in the red zone and the thermometer the next book that we're going to be talking about it is a curvy attraction by Krista Wick this follows Cecilia and Aiden now Cecilia family owns a mechanic shop her dad is a mechanic and the mom helps out with the business so she's always been around cars and around the shop and when she was younger the dad hires Aiden when he was like I want to say like a teenager 15 or 16 and he's always been around Cecilia now they grow up and he goes to college comes back now it's her turn to go to college and come back but she's always had a crush on Aiden ever since she was a younger teenager and um, she comes back from college and her car breaks down while they're going on a vacation in their lake home so now she has no way to get to the lake home and she talks to Aiden because Aiden's about to head out and he's like hey I can't fix your car because the parts are not here how about you come with me and you ride on my motorcycle and we can just go over there and you know you know things get super hot from there and from there they start confessing their feelings and they get some very steamy moments as well now the reason why this one's kind of iffy to recommend is because one this uses one of my least favorite tropes of all time which is miscommunication y'all <laughs> this relies heavily on miscommunication here and this is as well an age gap romance now the age gap I think the age gap is much bigger than uh, the book that I previously talked about. And then we have that conversation where they're like, oh, Aiden was like, oh, hey, you know, I've always liked you. I've always, you know, had my eye out on you. And I just found that a little weird because, you know, she was underage and he was obviously older than her. And I just found it a little bit uncomfortable. So I would say that the smutty scenes they're in the yellow orange category like the smutty scenes were hot obviously everything was consensual everybody was over the age of 21 I believe but like there's just a couple of things that just threw me off I do want to read the second book just in case you know maybe she has improved her writing or it's not heavily miscommunicated but would I recommend this book mm, it's really up to you so the next book that we have here it is My Wicked Nanny by Anne Mayburn and when I tell you this was an experience 
experience y'all so uh, we follow jesse and anya now jesse is the owner of a multi-millionaire company and unfortunately his wife died and he has a pair of twin boys so he needs help with that and he hires anya now anya is specialized in sewing and she makes costumes and anya needs the money to go to her to go to Paris, which she's been planning her whole entire life. And her friend actually gets her to apply to this elite BDSM club called Wicked. And it is a process because they have to check your background, they have to make sure that you are a sane person, and you have to take classes for BDSM to, you know, make sure that you know the rules, make sure how to address people, and make sure that you are safe. So this is a whole entire process but she gets in and on her first night there they all have to wear masks because privacy unless you get claimed and she's wearing a mask and on her first night she's working the floor so she's practically like a waitress working the floor and um to her first table is a bunch of um very important people and one of those important people that she realizes is her boss Jesse. So that right there, that is a whole entire book. But Jesse does not know that that is the babysitter that he hired for his two boys. So he actually feels an attraction towards her, but he doesn't know that she's a babysitter. So that follows them right there. And, um, whoo, talking about the thermometer, y'all, this broke it. Like, cracked. The thermometer everything fell out this was past the red zone again this is a bdsm relationship here aka a club so um there are a lot of instances where you get to see inside the rooms the tools the training y'all when i tell you that this was an experience i am not lying this was actually very enjoyable because again you get to get a little insight in the club and um the smut scenes are intense to say the least and the way that the author describes the club like i could picture the club and everybody in it and the rules and there's like certain rooms like i can picture it so she did a very good job at describing and making you feel like you are in the moment so if you have never read a bdsm club book and uh, you wanted to start with one I would recommend this because it was an experience y'all I will not say it it was something else and the last book that we are going to be talking about it is Grumpy Jake by Melissa Blue and um this was interesting because yes it does have smut in it but this is more geared towards like character development and more of a plot and you know the smut scenes are just almost like a bonus to it so i would dare say that this was like a beginner smut but i still enjoyed it so this follows bailey and jake now bailey is a kindergarten teacher and uh, she is sick and tired of hearing this guy named jake because jake goes out with a, has gone out with a lot of the faculty there and he practically leaves them within a couple of months because he has commitment issues i guess and they call him jake the rake because none of the females there could hold him down so on the first day of school i guess who shows up as the first parent and kid <laughs> jake with his baby boy and it follows them now at first they did not like each other at all but you know as time progresses they figure out that they're kind of wrong about each other and things go on from there now one of my favorite tropes has to do with um kids like kids involved in a story honestly i just i adore that and obviously there's a kid involved in the story so it made it much more sweeter and um jake is a protective parent and there's a story behind that but i don't want to give too many spoilers on the temperature scale i would say that 
it is more towards like the green yellow and yes it does have smut but the character development and the plot is stronger than the actual smut scenes so this was not super steamy which I don't know why anyone would say it. it's super steamy so if you are a beginner at smutty romances I would definitely recommend that you check this one out plus it's not too long not too short either so um I enjoyed this I thought it was cute I'm obsessed with the cover because come on now y'all look at this cover it it grabs at my comic slash graphic novel heart I love it and I would recommend it as well all right y'all and that is it for my kindle romance reviews i hope that you like this video and if there is a kindle romance that you would like me to review go ahead and comment it down and if you have read any of these books comment down below i want to know all your thoughts about it again thank you so much for watching my channel and i will see you next time bye